Hey guys, Buck59 here doing another collection video review. It's been a while since I've done one of these, so I'm gonna quickly go through each glass cabinet, what I have over here. This is very cool. This is what I got from uh, Orlando and Universal Studios. Very cool. You can see it has my name, Paul. It's an endoskeleton. That's where I can focus on that. Very cool. And then over here, in glass cabinet number one, I put Gypsy Danger's box right here to hold on to it for me. We have my 18 inch Enter Bay Terminator action figure. This thing is bad A. You can see here right there all the battle damage on it. Really nice. Very cool. Over here we got Rambo. My only two Rambo figures that I have. More are going to be coming soon though from NECA Toys. Over here we got my Spider-Man figures. Amazing Spider-Man 1 and 2. Very cool. Over here we have Captain America. We have some of the Marvel Legends one from the Winter Soldier movie. First Avenger, Captain America. And then you got over here Battle Damage Captain America, the Falcon, and regular version Captain America. Very cool. And then over here on the bottom bottom row right here we got my Ninja Turtles from the Jim Henson ones looking cool right there to the 1988 yeah that's correct the uh, 1988 cartoon series of the Ninja Turtles very cool so that's <clears throat> in this glass cabinet and over here on the top just for giggles we have our buddy the Winter Soldier comic version. This is Superior Spider-Man and Koba from Planet of the Apes. We've got a cool little Planet of the Apes poster right there. Looking very cool. So yeah, first glass cabinet. On to the next one. next glass cabinet, it's not really a glass cabinet, it's more like a wooden cabinet of things. Let's start with the bottom row. Over here we got my Dark Knight Trilogy Toys R Us 3 pack. You can see here, you got the Nice little Bruce Wayne figure. You got uh, this one from Dark Knight and Batman Begins. Looking very cool. Each one has their own little stand with like the 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 the, the movie title on it. I don't know if it's coming well on there, but yeah, very cool. And over here we have my 1966 Batman figures. This is with the Adam West version. See here the Joker. Got the Riddler. Got Surf's of Batman, regular Batman, Robin, because he hasn't come out yet, but I have him from the two pack, Toys R Us one. The Penguin, very cool. And over here on the top, we got the Dark Knight, the Dark Knight Rises, and Batman Begins Batman figures. Let's take a look. We got Battle Damage and Glow in the Dark Eyes Batman over here, Scarecrow in the back, we got Catwoman. Regular Batman, we got Two-Face right there, looking very cool and menacing. We got Catwoman goggles down. We got another Scarecrow right there with the business suit on. Very cool. Uh, we got Bane. Bane looking very cool right there. We got Joker. We got Raj al Ghul. In the back, we have the other Joker. When he's uh, you know at the police station, we got Harvey Dent. Harvey Dent, can we trust him? Uh, and we have here Joseph Gordon-Levitt's. That's that police guy, I forget his name. We have Unmasked Batman, we got the butler Alfred right there, and we got that bank robber clown guy. Very cool. And here at the top, we got my Mapex Batman, looking very cool. And right here we got that two-pack Toys R Us exclusive, Battle Damage Batman with Naked Bane, looking very cool and very naked, holding the broken cowl. And over here we have a Batarang. And let me move Batman to the side a little bit here. We have the... Uh, come on, move. Doesn't want to move. Alright, then we have the whole bat signal right there. Which, you know, you were supposed to collect and complete when you got all the Dark Knight Rises figures. And then I think behind here we have Commissioner Gordon. But I'm not exactly sure. Ah, uh, yeah. Very cool. So, that's this wooden cabinet. Right here. 
All right. On to the next one. This glass cabinet over here, we have all Robocop themed. So we got the regular Robocop, the first one that I bought from Mega Toys. Then we got the, the, the spring loaded holster Robocop. Glow in the dark Robocop. Looking very cool. Let me focus on that. And we got the Ed 209 right there, looking cool. And battle damage, poop stained Robocop. And we got a cool little thing that I made right there. Dead or alive, you're coming with me. And then over here, <clears throat> we have my Hot Toys, Man of Feels, Man of Steel, Superman, looking very cool. And then we got the Mattel figures right here. Jor-El in the back, black suit Superman in the back. The armored sod right here. That chick, I forget her name, Feora. And we got Shackled Zod with the little mark on the side, but you can't really see it. And I have a cool little, you know, Superman logo right on the side. Very, very cool. And over here we have Star Wars slash Star Wars. I guess you could say. These are Guardians of the Galaxy. I managed to get all of them, finally. And completed Groot. I am Groot. You can see here Nova right there. Nova's pretty cool. I didn't care much for this Iron Man, so I sold it back to Toys R Us. And then we got here Darth Maul, looking very cool. Boba Fett, I finally managed to find him. And we got Obi-Wan Kenobi. I am Groot. Still can't get over this figure. Very cool figure. And then over here, on the bottom, we got Iron Man. We have the Iron Patriots by Hasbro. We have more Iron Paid, uh, no, no, Iron Patriot. <laughs> Mark 42. Battle Damage Mark 6. Looking really cool. And then we got our Marvel Selects right there. We got this Iron Man Mark 42 clean. Battle Damage Custom Faced. I did that myself. I messed up his face so it looks more accurate. And this Iron Patriot. And then in the back we have the Mark V just kind of like hiding there like, hey guys. So yeah, that's it for this glass cabinet. And then over here on top I just have the 1966 Batman Batmobile. Just kind of there. Very cool. So on to the, the next one. falls on me again. I have here the 1989 Michael Keaton Batman figure by NECA Toys, my 18 inch Gypsy Danger figure, also by NECA Toys, it's little small 7 inch counterpart, wow that thing's huge, the little small knife head, which I have nowhere to put for now, my 12 inch NECA Toys Terminator, some more Terminator figures, I mean more Arnold Schwarzenegger figures, the Hulk, and my iHome, very cool, and now I'm going to put this Batman down before it falls down because uh, I'm scared. After the next glass cabinet, we have Predator themed. That's right, you heard it here, folks. Predator. We got that Toys R Us Predator figure from the NECA's Nest version. Very cool. I just have the box there. I didn't want to take the figure out. We got the infrared Dutch right there, looking very cool. We got regular Dutch right here with a cigar in his mouth. We got shirtless Dutch. Muddy Dutch. We got the little malfunctioning Pred here. Invisa Pred. You can barely see him, but he's there. Trust me, he's there. Let me see if I can shine my light on him. And then we got the other Dutch right there, looking cool. More Preds. Mass Pred. Unmasked Pred. Battle Damage Unmasked Pred. Bloody Naked Dutch. Oh, yeah, look at that blood. Looking good. That's my Fred, right there. Over here we got Hot Toys Predator. This is from the Predators 2010 version. This is the classic Fred. Very cool. I already reviewed this figure, so you can go search him in my videos, or I can post a link below if you want. Very cool. We have here the City Hunter Fred, Unmasked, San Diego Comic Con exclusive from 2012. Invisible Pred. We got the new Pred that they released. We got Battle Damage City Hunter Pred with blood and everything. And we got this Pred. This is this is one of my favorite. 
Yeah, he came in a two pack with Berserker Predator back in like 2011, 2011, yeah. And then over here on the bottom parts, we got 2010 prints. We got the Super Predators right here, Berserker, Tracker, on the, on the right, on the left we have Falconer, we got Unmasked Berserker right there in the back, looking very unmasked. We got the semi-cloaked Berserker and the Falconer, semi-cloaked. We got the San Diego 2010 exclusive of the cloaked Berserker. We got the messed up Pred right there, he's messed up, classic Pred. And we got the Predator Hound, very cool, very Pred. And now let's go down to the uh, bottom row, hope I don't fall. The bottom row here we have more Preds. This is the Predator 2 trophy wall right there in the back by NECA Toys. I am missing the skull, I don't know, it fell on me a while ago and I've never been able to find it, so whatever. And we have all the Predator 2 Preds that came out at the end of the movie when Danny Glover was given the gun by the Elder Pred. This guy is falling, I think so. I'll fix them. I'll fix them good. I wonder, I'll fix them later. Very cool. So this is the Pred collection. On to the next one. To the next glass cabinets. This one has really no theme much, but in the first glass case we have Prometheus figures. We got the Decon Alien right there. We got the holographic pre, uh, pre holographic um, engineer right there. Regular engineer. We got engineer stroking David's hair. We got the trilobite in the back. Open mouth engineer waiting to take it in the mouth. Just kidding. And over here we have the in not invisible the holographic pressure suit engineer. Very cool. Very shiny. They're all shiny. In the second row here we have Hot Toys Batman from The Dark Knight Rises. Loving this figure. Very cool. Very glad I got this Hot Toys. And then we got more Preds because I don't know anywhere else to stuff them. So for now they're just here. More Preds. Colorful Preds. Looking cool. Looking nice. Yeah, you like that? They're cool, right? Alright, it's enough of that. Over here, in the second round, we got, what? We got Pacific Rim. We got Gypsy Danger, Battle Damage version, Fighting Knife Head, Battle Damage version also. Very cool. We have Coyote Tangle, just hanging out there, because I don't know where else to put him. We got Baby God Back, I mean Leather Back, fighting against Cherno, my Alpha. Very cool, he's getting that punch right there. And Striker's just like waiting, like, alright, well, I'll strike when the time is needed. Get it? Striker, strike. Come on, guys. And then over here, ready to get filled up with more stuff, we got Scunner, Kaiju, right there. We got Crimson Typhoon. And we got Axe Head. And then we got an empty case right here next to it for more. Kaijus, because NECA just won't stop taking my money. Alright, so that's it for this cabinet right here. So pretty much Pacific Rim. Very cool. Some Preds. Hot Toys Batman, looking out of place. And Prometheus. Alright, this next, next one's my personal favorite collection. It's the one that started it all. The Terminator. I love these guys. This is by NECA Toys also. Look at that head sculpt. We got the endoskeleton right there. Battle damage T800 right there. We have regular Technor T800 right there. Look at that Technor. We have battle damage T800 from the first movie. Can't wait to get this as a Hot Toys coming soon, guys. And over here we have the Police Assault T800. I don't even know that's name. I just call it that. In the second row we have. My second favorite Terminator, the Hot Toys T800 Battle Damaged. Oh my god, look at that blood, that detail. Check out my review on this guy. 
later on I have uh, put a link to below also. Look at that metal battle damage arm. I mean, how cool is that? Huh? 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 Alright, I'm dragging on. We got the battle damage T1000 right there looking all scuffed up. We got the Cyberdyne attack, Cyberdyne showdown T800 right here. T800, the final battle. This is the smaller version of, you know, this Hot Toys. Then we got the messed up eye T1000 and the scoping T800. Oh yeah, it's called the steel mill T800 actually. And over here in the third row, we got more Terminators from the second movie, but the first act. So we got Arnold with the glasses and the shotgun. Very nice. We got Split Head, Splitting Headache T1000. We got an endoskeleton with a rifle right there. We got T1000 in the motor cop suit. We got regular T1000, Galleria Mall, and then we have the San Diego Comic Con exclusive T1000 liquid metal form. Then we have this guy. He's like the liquid nitrogen version. But it looks like a pretzel, because all those things just keep falling down him. I don't know. And then we have this guy, Manor Machine T800. Is he a man? Is he a machine? Is he both? Probably. And over here, like I said, it's empty because I'm waiting for uh, more Pacific Rim figures. So yeah, Terminator glass cabinets. Right there. Alright, for nice. my last glass cabinet, we have the Avenger themed one. So we have Loki right there. Really cool. We got Black Widow finally. Got the whole Avengers team when it came out. I switched this one with the other one because this one looks better than the battle damage version. We got Spidey right here just hanging out like, hey, I want to be part of the Avengers. Well, you can't, Spidey. You just can't. Then we got Marvel Select Lizard right there looking very cool. And we got Spidey just kind of hanging there. And then we got Spider-Man 2. Spidey and Electro. Very cool. And over here we have my Marvel Select Avengers. Uh, plus Thor the Dark World, I mean Thor the Dark World, Marvel Select figure. We got Iron Man right there, we got First Avenger, Captain America, we have Thor, Chitauri Guy, Loki, Red Skull just in the back, like, hey, when do I get my turn? Hulk looking very hulking, and we got even Hawkeye, who keeps like leaning back, I think, I don't know. I can't tell. And then we have here, Rocky, because I love Rocky. We got Rocky 1 figures, battle damage, and non battle damage versions. Then we have Rocky 4, non battle damage versions right there in the back. As you can tell. And we got the battle damage versions. These are really cool. And then we got the three figures from Rocky 3 Clubber Lang, I pity the fool. Battle damage and not battle damage, and using different trunks. But apparently, you can mix and match the heads, you know, like it's whatever. Very cool. Rocky. And then, in the last cabinets, we have some more Marvel Select figures Hawkeye, Captain America, this uh, Unleash Hulk. I like this Hulk. Very cool. And then we got this door. Very cool. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this cabinet. Let's take a look yeah, at them guys, all together. Now. That's my whole collection right there. I have like six glass cabinets, including the one here in this corner right there. And, uh, you know, just keep expanding. It's a never-ending fight to, you know, fight my addiction <laughs> but I can't I love figures and I love collecting and I, I just there's something about them you know like when you come into my room you just see them and you're like whoa these things are beauty it's like a museum in here well you know what it really is so yeah until next time guys uh, don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it if you like my collection make sure to send me links of your collection as well maybe you have you know some cool figures I'd like to see them uh, you know comment below what your favorite collection is or would be if you you know if you would collect figures 
and uh, don't forget to subscribe I'm so close to 1,000 subscribers I'm just like what 30 subscribers away but you know it'd be great if I go even past 1,000 so let me know guys in the comments below check out my 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 reviews you know oh yeah I got some posters here on my walls too I didn't show those off but those are cool amazing spider-man right there Avengers right here Injustice right there and then we have Superman which you know we don't know where to put him yet but yeah let me know guys what you think comment below subscribe like whatever until next time thanks for watching